episode of In My Beauty Bag. I'm your host, Yamina, co-founder of Yanni Beauty. And on In My Beauty Bag, we talk about all things beauty, wellness, entrepreneurship with a dose of fun. Um, this week is exciting because I have my first guest. Say hey to Mia. Hi. Um, so Mia is a beauty professional. She does brow makeovers. Um, she is also an aspiring model, and we're going to talk about all things beauty from a Gen Z perspective. So, hey Mia. Hey. How are you today? Good. Good. Um, so just tell our viewers and listeners a little bit about yourself and what kind of inspired you to start your journey in the beauty industry. Well, I'm a 17-year-old brow artist, and what inspired me is because First off, I actually like love beauty, everything beauty I just love. And um, when it comes to eyebrows, since I have thick eyebrows and it's not a lot of black eyebrow artists, I wanted to become one, so. Okay, great. So 17 years old, how long have you been doing brows? I've been doing brows for about two years. Two years, awesome. And do you love it or yes. do you like it? Yes, yes. Like okay, it. awesome. Um, so when you think about brows, I know that it's one of those things that's really trendy. It's one of those things that over time, things change. So when, it, when I was younger, it was all about the super thin eyebrows. Um, now, so much about like fluffy brows or well-defined brows. How do you stay updated on like brow trends so that when you have clients, they kind of know or you can kind of inform them on what their brow should look like? Um, probably on social media, especially TikTok. TikTok will tell you like a lot of the trends and then of course Instagram. Instagram is one of those apps where it's like something happens and changes every single day. So you do have to be on top of your game when it comes to like brows or makeup or outfits and stuff like that. Absolutely. And so I know the Gen Z era is all about social media. I guess all of us really are at some point. Um, look into social media for like inspiration and things like that. Um, when you think about just beauty in general and not just brows, what are some of like the misconceptions that like younger people like yourself think about like what beauty standards mean? Um, Do they think like it's a one size fits all? Do you think your generation is more about defining their own beauty standards? What are your thoughts? To me, honestly, I feel like everyone wants to be like someone else. So if somebody, if a celebrity do it, oh, I want to do it too. So they want to come into the salon and, oh, I want my eyebrows like so-and-so. I want my makeup like so-and-so. So it's like, I sometimes I do feel like they want to like love themselves and want to do their own thing. But most of the time, people want to be like someone else, which is not a good thing, but it is. It does happen. I see a lot of times where it's like people are wanting to be, like you said, someone else or inspired. Because I do understand that in beauty, you are inspired by beauty trends. But I do think that um, it's really important that people, especially younger people, start to really like kind of look at themselves and be okay with what looks good on them, what makes them feel pretty, even if it's not what other people think is the beauty standard or the body shape or anything like that. I think they should be okay and really comfortable with embracing that beauty standard. Um, so when, when you think about that, do you think social media plays a role in how younger people view themselves when it comes to beauty? Definitely. Social media will always, always, be the first the first thing first thing that will like how do I say this um will play a big role definitely because of course like the celebrities mm -hmm. and then the influencers and all that other stuff it will definitely be like what know. influences yeah people that, yeah so talking about influencers how do you feel about influencers do you think influencers are necessary do you think they're a necessary evil or do we not need influencers especially I, when i say we i mean like younger generations 
you know, let's say 15, 14, 15 to like 20 year olds, do you think they should be kind of influenced by the influencers of the social media platforms that we see today? Um, well, influencers are cool and all, but honestly, like, yeah, influencers have like show different things like styles and trends, of course, mm -hmm. but I don't think anybody actually needs influencers. I don't know why influencers were started because like, I'm, me personally, um, nobody is influencing me to do anything. It's like my choice. I want to do what I want to do, mm -hmm. but everyone is different, especially the younger generation. Like after Gen Z, it's like, they, they will follow anybody, anytime, anywhere. So it's like. I don't know. And then the, the influencers always do the same thing. It's always, oh, get ready with me. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. It's mm -hmm. nothing different. They don't ever change it. They use just the same topic over and over and over again. So I don't think it's so necessary. So what if influencers, what if, you know, I'm sure there are some influencers out there that um, has a really unique perspective on like beauty trends or fashion what do you say about those influencers are those influencers that you could celebrate or um is it just that influencer thing in general where you just feel like younger generations should definitely learn to kind of just embrace and 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 kind of influence themselves i feel like yes they should embrace and influence themselves and then influences some influencers are helpful and when it's like when they're helpful and they're telling actual facts then i yeah. feel like that's when the younger people should actually like oh okay i understand i want to do that but when it comes to like crazy stuff like oh let's do eyelash extensions on my eyebrows it's like why are you influencing <laughs> that what are you what are you doing i don't think any young person or old person i don't know why any 20 year olds wants to do that but it's nothing that I can control. Every, even want to be like, they do them. It's honestly. funny that you mentioned the eyebrow extensions. I never saw that until just the other day. Yeah. That people were literally putting hairs and extensions in their eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And I am certainly sure, like, being a beauty myself, I'm sure there are different ways. One of the ways, and I think that, and I don't know if you've heard this, mm -hmm. but something that I've come across about, like, growing your brows and filling them out is, um, of course, using, like, uh, like natural oils, like maybe henna or castor oil. But also, if they didn't necessarily want to use, you know, maybe it takes longer, they don't feel like that's the thing that people have been using Rogaine mm -hmm. for growing their lashes. Do you know what Rogaine is? Mm -hmm. I know you're kind of young. <laughs> okay, so Rogaine is, um, Rogaine is, a like a medication that men would use to grow their hair back oh, so when they yeah. start balding mm -hmm. they would put it and they actually sell it like over the counter mm -hmm. um and people would start to do that and put it in their eyebrows and i heard from a dermatologist actually mm -hmm. that that's one of the best ways yeah. that you could grow your eyebrows instead of like doing extensions which you would probably pull them out more just like we do our lashes mm -hmm. um that maybe you know doing it that way would be better yeah so the roll game thing i think i might try it <laughs> i don't know I, I might try it it's something i heard and, and so if any of our audience has used roll gain to grow their brows out drop us a comment let us know uh let us know if it works but thinking about just beauty trends um things that people may not know do you have any beauty trends or tips maybe a product suggestion or something like that that you really love i don't care if it's for your hair your skin your makeup what is one of the product products or product trends that you can't live without um this is hard it's well, definitely, we're going to start off with the basic, which is lip liner. I cannot live without my lip liner <laughs> at all. Yes, I have full lips and all, but I just, lip liner brings out, it's like lashes to mm -hmm. me. It just brings out my features more, I guess. Okay. But um, also another thing um, would probably be like a brow um, pomade, okay. wax type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, because I did have an incident 
at a brow place where they kind of um, threaded like my eyebrow off a little thinner than what it was supposed <laughs> yeah, to be. So I think we've all had that experience. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> using the um, pomade and like it's like a lamination. Okay. Basically, so it's like a fake lamination, but it's not forever. You can just wipe it off anytime. Okay. So that's also something that I. Okay. Awesome. Um. So we're going to wrap up a little bit, but I'd like to ask people about wellness um, and self-care. Can you give us one of the things that you do to take care of yourself, practice wellness or mindfulness? What would you give our audience? What suggestions, especially for someone younger who may be new to really um, embracing self-care? Um, well, to me, self-care is but really anything like if you just take yourself out it, it don't have to be like to a store or a fancy restaurant mm -hmm. you go to your backyard and do like a little picnic and draw and just be by like yourself it. but to me i love getting my toes done okay. and my eyebrows done when i get my toes and the eyebrows done and then i clean up my room that same day mm -hmm. it's just it just feels absolutely amazing and then if you're like starting to like shave if you're like 16 17 18 mm -hmm. and you like shave and you go buy yourself some bath and body you know get your I toes done with a clean room <laughs> it's just one of those days was like oh just like bath and body is always like the starter fragrances yeah. for like the young teenagers i know we all know that those are really good self-care tips and i'm really happy that you've embraced um, self-care and caring for yourself because I think that is really important no matter what age and especially younger people to learn to live in a way that self-care is very valuable. So before we go, I have two more questions. First, um, shout out what is your favorite beauty product right now? So I know you said lip liner, but like what lip liner, what color? Let's shout out your favorite product. And then after, just give us an interesting fact about you, um, either in beauty or just your personal life. Uh, well, the lip liner is um, the Yanni Beauty Lip Liner in Berry. I love that color. Okay. Um, I'm surprised I didn't buy it all out yet. <laughs> and then an interesting fact about me is, um, I own a gecko. I have a pet gecko, and I love animals very much. Okay. So I want to, as I grow, I want to continue to add on to my pets list, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to call them pets. They're like my little friends. I right. Uh, I love animals, so I definitely want to, like, do stuff like that. And um, I also want a horse. A horse. I uh, love horses. I love horses, so too. I, yeah, I want a horse and just... It makes me feel happy. I don't know. Okay, I love it. Well, everyone, thank you for taking the time to sit with me and Nia as we are grabbing in our beauty bag. You know, before I leave, I have to tell you something about my beauty tip or what I'm wearing. Today, I am wearing um, Yanni Beauty's berry lip gloss she loves the berry um lip pencil i am wearing the berry tinted lip gloss and another thing that i wear every single day is the yanni beauty's floral blush in red rose and so i have a little of that on today that is my beauty for today my wellness tip is to always just take a mindful minute so whether that is 60 seconds of deep breathing just 60 seconds to step away just make sure that you are taking care of yourself um thank you for listening thank you to you samia for being our guest um this has been a great episode of in my beauty bag and we'll see you next week Bye.